Hello students, uh, today's agenda is to check your homework. Uh, we're going to be uh, solving system of equations again, but we're going to use now uh, graphing the intercepts and your assignment will be 5.5. So today's students will be able to find the solution to a system of equations by graphing with the intercepts, meaning the x and the y intercept. So. Let's start with the following example. So we have a system of equations that has 3x plus y equals negative 6 and 6x minus 2y equals 12. And so we notice that these two equations are in standard form. Standard form means that my x and my y are on the same side of my equal sign, okay? Yesterday we learned to isolate y to find the slope intercept. Today is the to find the x and y intercepts. Okay, so how do I find the intercepts or what are the intercepts basically? Intercepts or more specifically, the x-intercept is where my line crosses the x-axis. And in that case, y will be 0. My y-intercept is where my line crosses the y-axis and in that case my x is equals to zero so basically the opposite is equals to zero so for the first equation 3x let me see i don't think i can put it in here maybe i can um so 3x plus y equals negative 6. I'm going to replace the y first with 0. And then for the second time, I'm going to replace x with 0. Now for the x-intercept, y equals 0. I call it this um, kind of like the crossed i because the pupil is in the middle. Um, so let's see, y is 0. This is going to be replaced by 0. So 3x plus y is 0. I replace it with 0 equals negative 6. Then 3 plus, 3x plus 0 is 3x equals negative 6. Divide both sides by 3. And so x is equals to negative 2. An easy way to do that is that if y is 0, basically, because it's in standard form, meaning ax plus by equals c, um, if the y is 0, I can just cover the y term and basically just divide by 3. Divide by 3. Negative 6 divided by 3 is, is negative 2 without having to do all of this work. Now for the other one, if x is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, so basically that disappears. And we say that y is equals to negative 6. So we already have the two intercepts. But again, if you want to do all the work, that's fine. You would do 3 times the value of x, which is 0, plus y equals negative 6. This will disappear because 3 times 0 is 0. And so you end up with y equals negative 6. So that's for the first equation. That's the first equation. We find the two intercepts, so negative 2, 0, negative 2, 0, and then 0, negative 6, 0, negative 6, and I have my line, my first line. For the next one, I'm going to do the same thing. 
So now I have 6x minus 2y equals 12. I'm going to find my, my answers for the intercepts. So I put the cross dies. So what is x if y is 0? I replace this by 0. Again, negative 2 times 0 is 0. So basically, I can just divide by 6, divide by 6, and know that 12 divided by 6 is 2. So I just put that answer in there. I do the same thing. When x is equal to 0, I just cover the x term. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. And so y will be equals to 12 divided by negative 2. So it's negative 6. Okay, so that's the shortcut. That's how you do it. We use, um, in class we said, tapándole el ojo al macho. <laughs> so it's going to be, if, when, if you want to show your work, then replace y with 0. So it's going to be 6x minus 2 times 0 equals 12. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, so basically that disappears. And so it's 6x equals 12. Divide both sides by 6, and so x is equals to 2. That's your 2 right there with the shortcut. Without the shortcut, I mean. Then we do the same thing for the other one. But now your x is 0. So I should have put this replace the x with 0 okay and so 6 times 0 is 0 so that's going to disappear make sure you don't forget that there is a negative in there this negative belongs to the 2y not the 6 times 0 so you have negative 2y equals 12 and we divide both sides by negative 2 so y is equals to negative 6 which is right there so now I have my two points and so I have 2 0 2, 0, and then 0, negative 6, 0, negative 6. So guess where the solution for this line will be? Well, the solution is where the two lines meet, and it's right here. So my solution, the one that I'm going to be looking for, is this point right here. So it's 0, and then negative 6. Okay, that's the point where they meet. And this was coincidence that that point is in both of the intercepts, but that will not always be the case. Okay? Okay, let's do another example. If you need to pause it, make sure that you do so. Okay, the next one will be negative x plus y equals 2 and y is equals to negative x plus 8. So since you already learned how to do the initial point and the slope, meaning the y-intercept and the slope yesterday when y is by itself, we're going to leave that one like that and we're just gonna do the intercepts for the first one um, so let's see for negative x plus y equals 2 if we put our crossed eyes in here los ojos viscos we say that y because this is always x and y x and y x is always first so y is 0 Basically, that's going to disappear, right? And we say that we cannot have a negative variable. So we're going to divide. So it's negative x equals 2 because this is up here, right? Because it's 0. And we cannot have a negative x, so we're going to divide by negative 1. And so x is equals to negative 2 because positive divided by negative is negative 2. For y x is 0 so negative 0 actually 0 is not positive or negative so it will disappear and so y is equals to 2 we don't even have to do any work in there we don't 
we don't have a coefficient, so we don't need to divide. It's just y equals 2, and we already have the two points. So negative 2, 0, it's right there. And 0, 2, 0, 2, it's right there. So that's my first point. Notice that, that I, well, what I notice is that this is from corner to corner, and there are like four squares in here. And I want to try to touch every corner, every two, so that it's more or less well aligned. Okay. For the second equation, I'm going to use the purple pen. For the second equation, y equals negative x plus 8, remember from yesterday's lesson that this is your initial point and that this is your slope right here. But since we don't have anything, we're just going to put it in fraction. If there is no number, that means that there is a 1. And that's your rise. But then you also need your run, rise over run. Okay, so your initial point is 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it's always on y, not on x. Then it says that you go down 1, because the rise is always up or down. You go down 1, and then 1 to the right, because it's positive. That's where you put your point. 1, 1 down, 1 to the right. 1 down, 1 to the right, 1 down, 1 to the right. Okay, and so... That's your line right there. Now, what am I looking for? What I'm looking for is the point of intersection, the point where the two lines cross. And so my x is 3 and my y is 5. So x is 3 and y is 5. That's my solution, okay, where the two lines cross. Okay, let's do one more example. And so my system of equation is negative 2x plus y equals 4. And we have 3x minus 5, y equals 15. So in this case, both are in standard form because both have x, y on the same side of the equal sign, x, y on that equal sign. We don't have any lonely y's, so that means that it's not in the initial point and slope. So we're going to have to solve for both of them. And so we have negative 2x plus y equals 4. Again, we can do it with a shortcut, just covering the one that has the value of 0. So y has 0, I cover that because I know that it's going to disappear since we, mo um, we replace it with 0. And we divide by negative 2 to find the value of x. And so negative, I mean, 4 divided by negative 2, it's negative 2. For the next one, x is equals to 0, so negative 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus y is y, so y equals 4, so that's an easy one because it doesn't have a coefficient, we, didn't, we don't need to divide, okay? Again, if you want to show the word, that's fine, and so y is 0, let's pretend that we don't have this, so it's negative 2x plus y, which is 0, is equals to 4, Negative 2x plus 0 is negative 2x equals 4. Divide both sides by negative 2, and so x is equals to negative 2. That's right there. If we were to check this one, x is 0, so it's going to be negative 2 times 0, plus y is equals to 4. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, plus y is equals 4. 0 plus y is y, which is equals to 4. For the next one, 
we have 3x minus 5y equals 15. And again, if we replace with 0, 0 in the middle, and then that means that y is 0, so I'm going to replace that with 0, and so I end up with 3x equals 15. Divide both sides by 3, and so x equals 5. Then we do the same thing, now x is 0, so that disappears, and so it's negative 5y equals 15. Divide both sides by negative 5, and so y equals negative 3. And the reason again for which I'm covering is because if I replace x with 0, it's going to be 3 times 0, which is 0, and so you end up with that only. Now I have, whoops, and I forgot to to do this equation first, the graph, but it's okay. Negative 2, 0. Negative 2, 0. Remember that it's the, the first one is always x. So x is on the side, y is on the sky. And 0, 4. Remember x is 0, and then 4 for y. So I have my first line in here. The next one is 5, 0, so 5, 0, it's right here, and then 0, negative 3, 0, negative 3, it's right here. And I want you to notice something, like what happens when I, when I draw this line? They don't cross, so what we're going to have to do is to actually extend those lines so that they will meet. Okay, and so at what point do they meet? X is negative 5, Y is negative 6. So my solution is that negative 5, negative 6. And that's what I'm going to be looking for in your assignment. Okay, so this will help you. I hope this video helped to, so that you can complete um, assignment 5.5.